All right, everybody, in this video, I'm going to explain logical operators in C. Logical operators are used to combine or modify Boolean expressions. There's three we'll discuss, and, or, not. We can use these logical operators to combine or modify Boolean expressions. Here's an example. We'll begin with and. In this sample program, we'll have a temperature. We'll say temp for short. For now, I'll set it to be zero. Using an if statement, I'll check the following. If my temp, my temperature, is greater than zero, we'll print the following. The temperature is good. I'll add an else if statement. Else if the temperature, temp, is less than 30, my temperature is going to be in Celsius. 30 degrees Celsius is fairly hot for the weather. So anything under 30 will print, the temperature is good, and I'll just copy this. Else, the temperature is bad. The temperature is bad. I'll set the temperature to be something reasonable like 25 degrees Celsius. Well, the temperature is good. If I change the temperature to be 5 degrees Celsius, well, the temperature is still good. Here's an extreme example. What if I set the temperature to be like a kajillion degrees Celsius? It's hotter than the surface of the sun. Well, the temperature is still good. Uh, it's actually, in fact, pretty horrible. The issue that we're running into is that with this if statement, our temperature is technically greater than zero. This is true. So we do this code and skip over everything else. What if there was some way we can check to see if our temperature, our variable, falls within a certain range? Well, we can do that with the and logical operator. Here's how. After checking one condition, you can use the and logical operator to check another condition. To use the and logical operator, you use two and percents. Let's check if the temperature is greater than zero and the temperature is less than 30. Then we can delete this else if statement. In order for us to execute this code, whatever's within this block, both conditions must be true. This has to be true, the temp has to be greater than zero, and the temp has to be less than 30. If our temperature is set to 1 million degrees Celsius, well, the temperature is bad. Really bad. This condition is still technically true, but this one is false. And in order for us to execute this code, using the and logical operator, both conditions must be true, which they weren't. Or if I set the temperature to be negative 1, negative 1 degree Celsius, well, the temperature is bad. It's below freezing. This condition was false, but this one was true this time. Since both weren't true, we don't perform this code. If I were to set the temperature to be 20, well, that should fall within that range. The temperature is good. This condition was true, and this condition was true. So we do this code. Using the and logical operator, you can check more than one condition. Now there's the or logical operator, which is two vertical bars. In order for us to execute this block of code, at least one of these conditions needs to be true. Let's change this program around. This time, let's check if the temperature is less than or equal to zero, or the temperature is greater than or equal to 30. If the temperature is below freezing, or the temperature is above 30, meaning it's really hot outside, well then, the temperature is bad. Else, the temperature is good. My temperature is set to 20 currently. The temperature is good. So, with the OR logical operator, at least one of these conditions needs to be true. This one was false. 20 is not less than or equal to 0. This one was false as well. 20 is not greater than or equal to 30. But if we change these around, I'll set my temp to be negative 5. Well, the temperature is bad. This condition was true, and this one was false. Since at least one of these conditions was true, we execute this code. If I set the temperature to be like a million again, well, the temperature is bad. 
this condition was false, but this one was true. And since at least one of these conditions was true, we execute this code. So that is the OR logical operator. It's represented by two vertical bars. Then we have the NOT logical operator. We'll create a new variable this time. It's going to be a Boolean. Bool is sunny. I'll set that to be true. If we're working with Booleans, we'll need the following header file. Include std bool.h. We'll write an if statement. If is sunny, we'll print the following. It is sunny outside. Else we'll print it is cloudy outside. Is sunny is set to true. It is sunny outside. If this were false, is sunny is false. It is cloudy outside. The not logical operator, it's represented by an exclamation point. The not logical operator, it's going to reverse any Boolean expression. In this case, we're asking if it's not is sunny. If it's normally false, it becomes true. It's kind of like saying, do the opposite. So if it's not sunny outside, that must mean it's cloudy. Else, it must be sunny. If is sunny is set to false, it's cloudy outside. If is sunny is set to true, well then, it's sunny outside. Just remember with the not logical operator, it does the opposite. If something is false, it's now true. If it was true, it's now false. And in the English language, it kind of makes sense. Is it not sunny outside? Well, if it's not sunny, it must be cloudy. All right, everybody, those are logical operators. They're used to combine or modify Boolean expressions. There's and, or, and not. And well, everybody, those are logical operators in C.